Hi everybody, this is Shelly from Healing Intentions and this is our full moon forecast for September the 8th, 2014. Now I know for the past few days the energies have already started to be really intense. Now I know that that's because there's a few other aspects besides the full moon taking part in really pushing the energies to a limit that is almost hard to tolerate sometimes. So we've had a very large solar flare a couple of days ago which really does change the energetic field of the earth. Um, we also have had a few volcanoes erupting. We had the one down in Pompeii, I believe it was, that erupted. And I saw a video on <laughs> on uh, YouTube, which is amazing how long it takes a shock wave to actually hit. But, man, it was loud. So the intensity of the earth moving, um, it just seems to be something that is really making everything else feel even more intense on top of it okay so what i know about this full moon that we have is that it's in pisces and pisces represents water right and water is emotions so there's an extreme that seems to be happening with a lot of people either you're really happy or you're really sad or when you feel anger <laughs> yeah it's pretty intense isn't it so what i would want to say is that what's happening is Everything that you have bottled up, everything that you have kept inside, um, decided that right now wasn't the time to deal with any of that stuff is rising to the surface. And it's like a volcano. And there isn't really going to be any way that you can stop it from happening. So what I would say is that you're going to be shown things that you didn't want to see or things that you didn't want to acknowledge. Um, the anger, like I said, emotions are going to be all over the place in every direction. So you really need to um, allow yourself to feel them, to express them in a healthy manner. Try not to yell at people that are surrounding you. Um, and because the sensitivity, sensitivity of everything is so strong, everything is at extremes. Okay, so just remember that. So if you are having a fight with someone, remember that um, it may not be exactly as big as it feels. It just feels really raw because you're already raw. Okay, so take a deep breath. All right, try your best to stay focused on the issue. Try your best to stay positive and work through it okay because this is why the volcano is happening we can't hide from what needs to be dealt with now is basically what we're being asked to do and what i'm finding too is that with uh emotions being um, as extreme as they are being able to cleanse them wash them away um, is what's really important it's like cleaning the soul right because it's like a shower for the soul. So honor yourself by doing that, okay? Now that is the really heavy duty part of the energies. Now, let's get to the real work that's supposed to come after we clear space, okay? And that's what we're being asked to do first. So the second part is to remember that because our emotions and the energies are so extreme, we are really being pulled from our heart center. And our heart energy is always the truth teller. The heart energy really shows us the power of the moment, the power of what we're experiencing at that time. And that is the truth of what dictates what fills our soul. Quite a big, quite a big explanation there, but that's the truth of it. That is what your truth is. When you find your truth, you hear your soul. And if you hear your soul, then you'll know what it is that makes you happy and that keeps you um, wanting to be full of light and love and life and following what your soul is asking you to do. So I know it's scary. I know it's hard sometimes to step out of the comfort zone. But if you're listening to your heart and the truth that it's telling you and what your soul is asking you to do, how can it be wrong? Because it's never wrong. Okay? So also, too, by listening to your truth, it opens up and listening to your heart, it opens up your intuition. Okay? And what that does is it helps you see things from new perspectives. Um, it helps you really see all possibilities and that's something that's really really important right now because with the gifts of trusting your heart with the gifts of um 
listening to what your soul wants. What's happening is you have the power to transform your reality, okay? Just with the thought. So if you can think it, you can create it. I love that. That whole sentence of if you can think it, you can create it. Because the minute that you think it is the minute that it can become reality. And that is an amazing, amazing thing. But to have all of this happen, you have to make a choice. Just like we've been saying in some of our past postings. The choice is the old ways or the new ways. It's kind of fun, isn't it? I've been telling a lot of people that ever since, you know, the fall of uh, 2012, when everybody was freaking out about the Mayan calendar and, and how it ended and everything, what it really meant, the truth of all of it was, was that the Mayan calendar represented the old ways ending and the new ways beginning. So because we are human and because we have a mind and because we listen to our minds it distracts us it stops us from listening to our heart and it stops us from doing what makes us happy so i choose the new way i hope you do too so the other thing to know about this is that by choosing the new ways it then means that the thought creates reality and with that reality comes an abundance of what your soul is asking you to receive okay so that also means that you have to be very conscious of your thoughts, of your emotions, of your actions, which means you kind of have to become a master of self, okay? Now also too, I like to kind of say it's kind of like, well, I like driving my car, so I like being in control of that. But I'm like the captain of my ship and I'm deciding by the thoughts I have and the energies that I partake in, which direction my ship is going. So I've been finding this new adventure pretty exciting. Um, and with doing what I do for a living, I find it very funny how my clients sometimes are the greatest mirrors for me. I had a client yesterday that showed me that what I had talked to her about in the beginning when she first came to see me was how to create the reality that you desire. And she came to me and everything is just going exactly as she sees it. And it blew my mind because I'm thinking, wait a minute, Shell, you know, everything's going really good for me, but there's still a few aspects that aren't exactly shining the way I want them to shine. So what are you missing? And it was almost like that funny little jokester slap in the face of you're not creating your reality with your thoughts. Okay, so the teacher has now become the student, <laughs> which means we have come full circle, which means that I'm grateful and I'm thankful. And every single moment of every single day, I love what I do. So I also know that some people right now are not having a very happy day because, yes, it's snowing. <laughs> I find it funny because every single year we have one of these storms at this time of year and everybody gets all grumpy. And rah, rah, rah. I think it's more about understanding that we need to prepare for, I think, the next phase, the next stage. Okay, what do you want to keep that you learned now to bring into the next? What I know is that it doesn't matter if I go outside or if I'm inside. Movement music and laughter are three of the most important things that keep me going every single day no matter what the weather is so stay happy stay positive if your volcano erupts do not be hard on yourself through it attack outside forces and really allow yourself to cleanse and make room for all the abundance joy and the reality that you're going to be creating. So I love you lots. Take care and we'll talk soon. Bye.